Welcome back to my channel. What up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Extra here and we back with another video. Period. Cause I'm dropping videos all 2020. <laughs> and you already know. Period. Cause we extra in it. Yeah. We gotta put some extra in it. Okay. Put some extra sauce in it. Be a little saucy. Put some extra work in. Look. Anyway, if you read the title of this video, I'm doing you a little story time about my first girlfriend. Okay? We talking about my first girlfriend. <sighs> Relationships, man. The roller coasters that you go on and how one day it could be good as heck and literally the next day it could be nothing if you guys are not subscribed to my channel i'm gonna need you to just hit that subscribe button right now hit that subscribe button right now also make sure you get your post notifications on or so you can get notified whenever i have a video period okay and are you following me on instagram are you following me on instagram if you're not following me on instagram i need you to go and follow me on instagram also follow me on my TikTok so we can get this thing pop because we the extra game duh okay so, so we're talking about my first girlfriend my first girlfriend and well actually i shouldn't even call her my girlfriend even though i think we were together but i'm gonna say just my first girl experience that's what i'll say my first real girl experience so i was in college in chicago and uh, I had a few friends, um, because oh, I went to school for dance in Chicago at Columbia College. So I had a few friends that I knew there in the dance department that were also queer, right? Had a girlfriend or, you know, some gay people or whatever. Anyway, it was these poetry shows that they used to do, and I would go to them. It was this guy named Funky Monkey, and he would do these poetry shows. So my friend... Her and her girlfriend would go and do poetry. So they took me with them. So I go to the show and I get up and I do a poem. Oh man, I wish I could read that poem for y'all. The poem was lit, okay? It was very sexual, okay? It was very explicit, okay? Cause I like to, I love to write erotica poetry. Anyway, so I go to the poetry show. I get up on stage, I do my little poem. My friend decided to introduce me to one of her friends thought she was so cute she was a little light-skinned junk okay she was so cute she had um braids in her hair like uh kind of like travis scottish braids like they were just all over right she had on a um letterman jacket kind of uh and she was so cute so my friend introduced me to her and she was like hey this is z blah blah this girl gonna say to me Cause I was like, what's your name? And she was like, my name Anonymous. <laughs> Anonymous? Your name Anonymous? Anonymous? I was annoyed at that point. I was like, oh, this is this is a fuck nigga, okay? This is a fuck boy, okay? Fuck boy, fuck girl, okay? So, she said her name was Anonymous. We left it at that. There was no exchanging of numbers. That was it. So, <laughs> a couple days probably went past, and then, obviously, she was really good friends with my friend. So, I see her again. At this point, we exchange information. And, um, her name is T. We're gonna say T. Uh, and, to get to the point, we started hanging out. But, we never really went out, went out, like, on dates. Because, she wasn't out of the closet. She was still in the closet, which I did not understand because she's the most masculine looking woman. How you in the closet? Okay, and I'm out the closet. So, like when we would be out together, we couldn't hold hands together, but we was always together. I was like, that's stupid. So we couldn't hold hands. We couldn't do any type of uh, uh, PDA or anything. Like we couldn't kiss in public because she was not out the closet. She still had dudes on campus thinking she was straight. Which was hecka annoying, okay? We dated, we had a good relationship. I would always be at her little dorm room 
and I would be cooking for her. We just had a good relationship. We had so much fun. Like the first time that we had, okay, I'm about to TMI, but it's okay because I'm about to tell y'all because you know, we friends here, okay? It's extra gang, I can tell y'all. First time we had sex, right? This is my first time going down on a girl. She didn't think I was gonna do it. So like she went down on me. She didn't think I was gonna do it. I was like, duh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. That's the whole point. And boy, I told that ass up, okay, cause she also liked fingers too. So I got to finger her like, oh, it was, it was good. Mm. And she was thick too. She had like a thick little bottom. Oh boy. Anyway, we had like a great relationship. We had so much fun together. We really enjoyed each other's company, but I was out of the closet, but I also still hadn't told, I hadn't told everybody. I was out in Chicago, but I still had people in back home thinking that I was straight, right? Because I still had like, I'm gonna say I had a boyfriend, but obviously I was away at school cause, so I never saw him, okay? It wasn't like he was always around. I was still dating my high school, my like hometown sweetheart. We're gonna call him hometown sweetheart. I hadn't fully expressed to him that I was dating women. And I really didn't know how to because I didn't want to break his heart, right? I like really loved him and I didn't know how to tell him that I liked women more than I liked men. I probably would have stayed with him. We probably would have been married by now. Like we probably would have been together. But I had other plans. <laughs> So anyway, so he didn't know that I was dating her and she was okay because she knew that I wasn't seeing him. Like she knew it wasn't, she, was, she wasn't tripping off because she knew I was like seeing her. I was dating her and I was always with her. We were like getting serious. I was kind of like pressuring her to like be able to be more open outside in public than in the closet. Like I really wanted her to be more open and for us to feel more comfortable being able to hold hands or kiss each other or whatever. I went home, right, for Christmas break. And I was home for probably about a month. Obviously, you know, I saw my boyfriend at the time then when I went home. And I think at that point, we probably kind of like, during that break is when I kind of expressed to him that this just wasn't working, the distance wasn't working, and that we needed to kind of take a break, right? My plan was to go home and end that so that when I came back, we could really be into each other, like full blown girlfriends, right? <sighs> this is where you get fish, y'all. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Now, I only went home for a month. Tell me why this be. Okay, and I actually, I can't even call her that because we, we cool. We ain't like best friends now, but we cool. Like we cordial, like we, she called me every once in a while. Tell me why I come back from school and it was like everybody had turned against me. It was crazy. And I don't know if that's because they knew what she was doing or whatever, because obviously she was friends before with my friend before I was there. I know that makes no sense, but my friend who I knew from back home was friends with her and they had more of a deeper connection than me because she was at school before me. I'm sorry if I confuse y'all, but <laughs> y'all get it, okay? So when I came back, I actually had told them, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have all this luggage. Can y'all help me I'll get off the train? Because in Chicago, you they don't have elevators at some of the train stations. So you gotta literally, carry your luggage up the stairs, right? During the break, Christmas break, I didn't really talk to her, the person I was dating, the girl I was dating, I didn't really talk to T very much. And I don't know why, it was like she was hella distant and um, I would call her, we would talk every once in a while, but it wasn't like the same connection. I didn't understand what was going on. When I came back, I told them I needed help. Guys, guys, I get to the train stop with all this luggage. I done came, flew home, got on the orange line, took it downtown to uh, the area where the dorms were. Get off the red line. They played me. Nobody answered their phone, nobody. So I'm dragging this luggage up the stairs because I lived a little further north. So I was gonna have to take the train a little further to get home, right? 
I'm calling people. Now, it was probably like 11 o'clock at night because I had a late flight. I'm calling people. I am, I actually go to my friend's dorm. Um, and the, my friend's dorm and T's dorm was kind of like maybe like a couple blocks away from each other. So I go to my friend's dorm and I like buzzing, trying to get in. I finally get in the door, but you have like security because so you can't just go up. So security calling him. Nobody's answering the phone. I'm like, oh, this is dirty. So then I'm calling T. I'm calling her phone. So I think she answered the phone and she was like, nah, I can't do it tonight. And I was like, what? We are dating. What are you talking about? You can't do it. Lo and behold, this mother sucker over Christmas break has started dating some other raggedy ass bitch. Okay? Raggedy bitch. Okay? This girl was a raggedy. She started dating this raggedy ass girl. I was shook. So I had to travel all the way. So I had to take all my stuff back down to the train, travel all the way back home by myself late at night with all this luggage. Everybody knew she had started dating this girl over the Christmas break. Nobody told me. Nobody told me anything. Tell me why. So me and her started, stopped dating, right? When school started back, I'm seeing her walk around campus with this bitch holding hands fully out this girl came fully out with this girl everything i have asked her to do she literally fully came out with this girl y'all it was so dirty at that point i literally was like fuck all y'all like everybody that was downtown that was my friends fuck y'all don't talk to me like i had they they, they were on my blacklist like i wasn't even fucking with them because I just thought what they did was so dirty. What she did was so dirty. And literally, ever since then, like, we never dated again. And she was just dirty to me. I just like, how would you even, why would you even do that to me? Now, we we didn't finally talk about it. And she was like, you hurt, you broke my heart. You hurt me when you went back home for Christmas break. I was like, how did I hurt you? She's like, I knew that you were still messing with your boyfriend and i'm like that's not true i went there i had to explain it to her i went there to break up with him fully so that i could be available to be full-blown girlfriends which she, she did me so dirty y'all she did me so dirty she was like you think that i didn't want to go further i had already gotten you a toothbrush at my house and i had gotten uh i helped um clean out a drawer for you and all this other stuff girl you had a whole girlfriend Oh my God. And listen, okay, the girlfriend, so I told you she, she was like fully out now on campus and stuff. The girlfriend, the girl that she started dating, right, totally started changing her up. This girl started wearing, and I don't even want to talk bad talker, but we, we, we cool. So she probably would laugh at this. This girl started having her wearing beads on her braids and stuff. I was just like, what? Who are you? This is not you, T. Like, this is not what you do. I was like, what is going on? Oh my god y'all it was crazy she broke my heart i was so hurt by that i really really cared about her and i was really excited about to see to see where our future could go you know what i mean like she was really a dope person and i thought she i mean we had such a we had so much fun together so it was so crazy about how all that stuff played out i mean we dated for probably like three months but how all that played out it was just trippy as fuck to me because i just did not expect that from her I did not expect that treatment from her, especially, I don't know, I just, I just didn't expect that from her. So it was just so fucking crazy when this girl full blown out on campus now, walking around, and you get that to a raggedy bitch. Anyway, that's that story, y'all. I was, it was just so crazy how people just do you dirty, how people do you dirty. And I just really, really just was not expecting that out of her. And it be it be the people that you just don't expect it from that do you the dirtiest, okay? They do you dirty, boy. So, anyway, just watch your back. Watch your back. And, um, and protect yourself. And protect your energy. That's this video. I ain't gonna keep y'all too much longer. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more story times. Um, because I got a lot more stories coming up also make sure you got your post notifications turned on so that you can be notified whenever i have a video make sure you ding that bell okay click that bell so you get notified also make sure you go 
follow my TikTok so you can see me go like this. <laughs> and also follow my Instagram because I have so much content on there. Um, I, I'm posting dope ass outfits daily and just come check me out, period. Okay. Anyway, I love you guys, and I'm going to see you in the next video, in the next story time. Get this to 50 likes. Let's get 50 likes on this. 50 likes, and I'm going to drop another video, okay? Let's get this to 50 likes, and I will drop another video. I love you guys, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Stay safe and love extra hard, but always fuck extra harder. Love you guys.